So our wee adventure today starts with a long drive to Oiko Bridge Hotel. From there, it's a relatively short but bumpy road to the schoolhouse Bothy, where I'll stop for the night. In the morning, a 9km cycle starting at the Bothy will first take us to the Corry Mulsey Lodge. Following this, we will follow the river along until we drop our bikes at the large ford. From the ford, it's a relatively short and easy track to the top of our Munro, Shaun of Rye. Fantastic! Evening, evening. So, we're out on another wee adventure. We're out on another wee adventure. We've just parked, just parked the van here, and I'll show you where we've just came down from. Away up there. It's some road, it's some road, but yeah. Uh, Quiet, I never passed any other cars or anything like that, so I'm here myself. Got the van tonight, and got the bike. Got the bike, that's a hint, that's a hint for where we are, I think. And there's this wee building here, I'll just show you this. Wee bothy here, wee bothy here. So this wee bothy is known as a schoolhouse bothy, because it used to be a schoolhouse. Uh, I've never been in it before, so I'm looking forward to it and see it, so let's go and have a look. There's no den, there's no den, I had to look in the window. It looks like a wee schoolhouse, eh? Your desks. Blackboard. Some books. Your map. Some pictures of the refurb. No, it was obviously rotten at one point, eh? Compartment here. There's two rooms. Another three rooms. Just a wee single sleeping compartment here. A tiny one. A second room. Bigger room. Bigger sleeping compartment. Aye, very nice. Very nice. Well, I'll not be staying in here tonight. I'll not be staying in here tonight. I'm uh, got to stay in a van. So that's the bike. Put the bike in the both and locked up. So can't see anybody being here now tonight. There's three rooms in there, so I'll put it in there the room where I think nobody would go, so that's fine, it's all locked up. So, just get yourself a wee bit of tea now. It's uh, 20 past eight, so I'll get myself a cup of tea and some noodles, and that'll do me. Get settled in for the night. Fantastic. Lovely spot. The rain was on there, it was horrendous rain all coming in, but it's all kind of passed over, so. Fingers crossed. The weather for tomorrow is to be good. So the Met, the Met office is anyway. Wait and see. Wait and see. Right. A wee bit of grub. A wee bit of grub. Schoolhouse is one of a number of buildings of its type constructed by local authorities in the Highland area, but it is one of few now remaining. It is believed to have been used as a school until the 1930s, serving the needs of children from the surrounding area. There would have been just one class, and it is possible that the teacher lived in the premises. The journeys made by pupils would often have been hazardous. A report in the Northern Times in September 2007 records that pupils often had to use stills to cross the swollen river. The schoolhouse was an MBA project in 2008. The exterior of the building has been restored as far as possible, in keeping with the original.
morning. It has me up. What a beautiful morning. What an absolutely beautiful morning. So I just went up and had my breakfast here and get sorted. Got my bike back out the, out the bothy and stuff. So just waiting on Roy coming. He said he'd be here about half past seven. So that's 25 past. So hopefully within the next 10, 15 minutes he's here. And then we'll make a move. And we're heading out whew, in that direction. But it's glorious. It's glorious. Blue sky. It's not a cloud in the sky. It's a wee bit cold last night. I think it got down to minus one or minus two in the van. Uh, it's a wee bit cold, but hi, feeling good. Looking forward to this. So we're heading up there. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. I think Roy's saying at one point you used to could go right up here and park your car right up here. Yep. Uh, which makes the walk, well, a lot shorter, but no now, no now. Right, through the gate, through the gate. Oh, Guy Martin. Oh, I like Guy Martin. What a boat. Proper engineer guy, ain't he? Right. Oh, 
no! It's too deep. You'll need to cycle it. No. <laughs> Up there. Oh, I just got to go across here. So we're nearly where we cut off. Eh? There's a wee uh, cairn we're looking for on the left hand side. And then we're heading right up. And then we're just going just up here and then round. That's all up round there. That's a scramble at that side you can do. So that's us dropped off the, the bikes. We've just got to head up here. No, we're not heading up here. Fantastic. Amazing area. Thank you, Roy Hussein. Across the water there and head over to Magoo's Bothy, which is over in the glen over there. So that's us just making our way off the track and uh, up this wee faint path. And you can see where we're going to head up, right up there. We just got to make our way up this this track. See how we go on. A wee faint path here. Fantastic! What a beautiful day! What a beautiful day! That cycling was was really good. Really straightforward. Uh, no real issues at all. So. So we're up about three or four hundred metres here and we're looking down that Magoo's Bothy, Roy tells me. Fantastic. What's the ridge called again, Roy? Craig Amdunya. Craig Amdunya. That's the scramble up the skyline, sorry, up there. The Man's Crag. The Man's Crag. Uh, apparently that's quite a good scramble, but we're happy with the bog trotting today rather than the scramble. We followed this uh, wee kind of Argo cat track right from where we dropped the bikes and uh, I guess you could plot several routes up here because it's straightforward but following that we are go cat track seems to be the path of least resistance now but we've got to take a right up take a bit of height now there's a wee locking up here Roya a wee locking just up here Fantastic. It's warm as well. It's warm. So hope for a wee breeze and we get up a bit. Hey, that's us up about 700, 750 metres here. Just come up that contoured up there. And we're not far from the top. This is about 950 metres this, this top, so a couple of hundred metres to go. But the last wee bit's the steepest bit, so that'll be the hardest. But no far to go now. Look at these views. Look at these views. Wow, well, a big quarry. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, I bet this doesn't even do it justice, but fantastic. Amazing. Yeehaw. So we're no far from the top now. And uh, found a wee path. We've kind of been cross country a bit, going the most direct route, but I find a wee path now. Uh, this quarry just looks amazing. Oh, yeah, watch what I'm doing.
Ja. Ist der wie weit der Go? Ja, ist das echt top. Oh wow, oh wow. <laughs> Amazing, Amazing. <sighs> Fantastic. There's a top just up there. people up there already. Shanavrai, the old height, standing at 926 <sighs> metres. So that's us at the top, Shanavrai. Fantastic. Wait to see this, Corey. Wait to see this. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Fantastic, fantastic, Oof. a long way down down there, beautiful, absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Where have you gone my old working place, but I long to talk with you again. Yes. <laughs> I hope the storm comes around so hard and carries me up and away onto my sands. For I have everything I need for my head. I once had dreams of some country living. Hey, that's just for you. That's just for you. Beautiful up here, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So just heading down, so get a wee bit down there, so we've got one day now, so get it down there and get that, so fantastic. Nice and easy at behold. I'd watch the colours change around my country home. This is back at the bikes, back at the bikes, and uh, nine kilometres back to the van, so that should be relatively quick. Look at that, absolutely amazing, fantastic, fantastic day. Right, get you back at the van, back at the van. Where you won't As I was back in the van, there was a few people at the bossy there chatting away and stuff like that, so I didn't get a chance to do any wee bit of camera there. But as I was back in the van, a bit flushed, <laughs> it was warm today. Anyway, that was a brilliant walk, absolutely fantastic. I'm not quite sure of the stats, uh, but I'll put them up on the video when I do a wee video. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, I know it's Sean Abray. The, 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 the kind of more favoured route is from Inverleal, I think, is the more favoured route. However, I would highly recommend doing this, driving into the schoolhouse both there and cycling in. It's, uh, it's maybe not as adventurous, kind of across 
walking across country for Underwheel, but it's fantastic. The views are amazing. That looks great for cycling. Absolutely fantastic. And I've read a few things about this track, and it is a wee bit rough, but we'll take your time. It's, it's pretty straightforward. And the wee schoolhouse both is there, and that's spotless. Spotless. Uh, there's no fire in it, but not you seen the video. So I so that's that. So it's a long drive home now. Yeah. Long drive home back to Glasgow. But just take a time. Just take a time. And that's that. So I will catch you later on. <laughs>